Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to The Daily Show. I'm Trevor Noah. Let's jump straight into today's headlines. There's a lot going on in the world today. The big international news is that President Biden held a video meeting with Vladimir Putin to warn him not to invade Ukraine. Yeah. And a video chat is a tough way for both of these guys to do diplomacy. I mean, especially because even when he's in person, Biden talks like he's got a bad connection. Man, come on, man, Vlad, you, you gotta, you know what the thing we're, we're trying to do on the border, you gotta, man, we gotta, we gotta, come on, come on, come on, man, but you, luck. Joe, you're cutting out. No, Joe, I cannot hear you, you are cutting. Reboot your, ser- you know what, I reboot for you. I have access to White House servers, not Kamala. She doesn't use Bluetooth, everybody else. All right, let's move on to some technology news. Everyone loves Tesla cars. They're like if a Prius did ayahuasca. But now, they're under fire for a new feature that allows drivers to play video games like Solitaire on the dashboard screen while driving. Yeah, which, guys, come on. How are we supposed to drive and play video games and text and eat breakfast and do our makeup and flip off other drivers for not paying attention to the road? It's too much now, people. And also, I can't emphasize this enough. It's not worth dying in a car crash just to play a video game. I mean, at least not solitaire. You know, if God of War was on there, then yeah, I'll drive off a cliff. But solitaire, shit. St. Peter will be roasting your ass at the pearly gates. Solitaire? Yo, bitch ass dad for solitaire? Yo, this shit is hilarious. Yo, Mother Teresa, come hear this, come hear this. Yeah, bring Jeffrey Epstein with you. Come bring Jeffrey with you. Yo, this shit is crazy. Wait, what? Jeffrey Epstein's in heaven. Are we just gonna carry on like that didn't happen, guys? We just gonna let that go? How did he get into All right, let's make like every bachelorette party and go to Nashville, Tennessee, where another Confederate statue has been removed. This time, it's one that was put up in the 1990s. Yeah, and it's of the first KKK leader, Nathan Bedford Forrest. And I'm gonna be honest, you know, this, this statue here was actually the one Confederate statue that I feel should have been kept up. Because, I mean, look at it. This shit is hilarious. When have you ever seen a statue where the general looks like he's shooting his way out of a saloon, you know? He's just like... His horse doesn't even have reins. Every other statue, the general sits there like a wise old man. This dude looks like he stole a horse in Red Dead Redemption. I'm getting out of here! Ah! I mean, look at his face. I've never seen a statue that's panicked. Who makes a statue of your moment of panic? He looks like he found out. He just found out what a Barack Obama is. They said what? He's the ruler of who? Ah! In fact, I realized, you know what? We don't need to take down any Confederate statues. Yeah, we should just say whoever designed this statue has to design all the other statues. Then both sides win. Yeah. And if this general really did look like this in real life, I think it would explain a lot. You know, he was probably the first guy at the Klan rally who said, you know what? We should all wear pillowcases over our faces. You mean to scare the darkies? Oh yeah, sure, that's why.